apologize, my uh, my ten and a half needles get a lot of action. Um, I used them a lot when I was first starting out, so they have a lot of wear and tear on them. So I personally use a long tail cast on that doesn't have a knot in it. And the part of the reason for that is when you have something that's like a seamless project or even not a seamless project, um, the knot just kind of ruins the aesthetic of the end, in my opinion. So I'm going to show you how to do it without a knot. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to need to cast on 35 stitches. So we're going to need about, I would say if you leave 18 inches or so, you should be fine. And we can always rip back if we don't have enough yarn. So we're going to make this kind of like a slingshot and we're going to put the yarn over the needle and we want the tail end of our of our yarn coming from the front and then the the ball of your yarn coming from the back. Okay, so we're set up in, in this position. I'm going to slide this towards the end of the needle. Okay. And then we're going to take our pointer and thumb, put it between the two yarns, hold them with your other fingers, and pull it back like a slingshot. Okay, so if you can see that, hopefully you can see it okay. And again, I have the tail on the front. The ball of yarn is attached to the back. Obviously, mine's not attached to anything, but you, the ball of your yarn will be on the back. And then you're going to take your point, pointer and your thumb, put it between the yarns behind the needle, grab it with your other fingers, and pull them out into a slingshot. Okay? And this is the starting position for the long tail cast on. And for the long tail cast on, we're going to take our needle. I'm holding where my knot would be because I don't want it to slide off. So I'm just going to hold that, and I'm going to go under what's in front of my thumb and between the two. Pull that over and go under this one. It's on my pointer and then back through the loop and then tighten it up. So now I've cast on two stitches. So I'm going to get back into my ready position. So I'm going to go ahead and put my pointer and thumb in. I just put my finger on these. They shouldn't slide anywhere, but I, it's just kind of habit. Pull it back like a slingshot. And then we're going to go under the thumb, under the pointer, and back through. Okay. As you get in a groove, you won't have to actually drop the yarn, so I'm just going to get back into that slingshot position under my thumb under my pointer and pull it back through and just tighten it up. It doesn't need to be super tight. Um, don't be like cranking on it. The needle is there to make sure your stitches stay the same size. So we don't really need to pull it super tight. Get back into our slingshot position, under the thumb, under the pointer and back through. Okay. So right now we've got five stitches on the needle and we need 35. It actually becomes really kind of mesmerizing when you do a couple in a row. And for demonstration, I'm just going to cast on 15. Okay. Now, once you get to this point, if your tail in the front, the part that's not attached to the ball of yarn, you don't want to cut the, the part that's attached to the ball of yarn. If it's super long, I would trim it off, um, but just so that you don't have a ton of yarn kind of hanging in your way. But then this end would be what's attached to the ball of yarn.